Meanwhile, the Network Against Corruption and Trafficking Initiative, NACAD, has drawn the attention of the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to perceived delay in investigating and prosecuting heads of ministries, departments and agencies found culpable in corruption scandals through petitions by the body and other concerned Nigerians. The spokesperson of NACAD, Iteve Nuruddin, said this at a press briefing in Abuja on Tuesday. NACAD commended the President Bola Tinubu for allowing and encouraging the environment for the anti-corruption fight to thrive, as it also lauded the National Assembly Committees on Public Petitions and Anti-Corruption for reviving the fight against corruption and nepotism. Some of the agencies named who have corruption petitions against it and its heads are the Office of the Solicitor General of Nigeria, headed by Mrs. Beatrice Jedi Agba, Commandant National Defense College Olumuiwa Olotu, Director of Procurement Niger Delta Development Commission Alex Enebeli, Nigeria Nuclear Regula Regulatory Authority Idris Yao, and former Director General National Emergency Management Agency Mustafa Ahmed. We have intercepted several financial infractions committed by persons in public office. These infractions include money laundry, massive corruption, gross abuse of public office, owning and running of private companies while in office, and false asset declarations, contrary to provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The catalog of those found wanting in various infractions include Managing Director, Nigeria Nuclear Regulatory Authority, Mr. Idris Yao, and the immediate past Director General, National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, Mustafa Habib Ahmed. The NACAT can authoritatively state that the trio, so Mr. General of Nigeria, Beatrice Agba, the Commandant of National Defense College, and the Director of Procurement, NDDC, were found wanting in the area of owning and running private companies while in office and forced declaration of assets. While fielding questions on if the group has enough evidence on the alleged petitions on the MDAs, the group insisted that it has more than enough evidence, which is why those involved have not sued them. Director Nigeria Nuclear Regulatory Authority, Mr. Idris Yao, is found wanting in the alleged laundering of over 20 billion era. The immediate past the Director General, National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, Mustafa Habib Ahmed is indicted in his flagrant abuse of due process of law by diverting the NEMA funds meant for disaster prevention, management and remediation, amounting to well over 95 billion naira to his friends, cronies and relations. All petitions have been submitted to the committee. We have also been briefed that the parties indicted, indicted have been invited. We urge the committee to remain steadfast in its duty to address the issues as stated. While we trust in the mental and capacity of the National Assembly Committees, we also wish to draw the attention of the Presidency to these infractions as well as the attention of the Nigerian public. We don't expect an organization of this repute to make allegations they cannot substantiate. We want is to get the allegation, uh, you know, uh, the petition from people. Another thing is to subject those petitions, the, those allegations to our own scrutiny. We quoted figures here. We mentioned names. That should have informed you that before we come out to talk about these people or their you know, activities, we have verifiable information about those people. We are purely to investigative activism. We dig up things and we expose it. If they think what we have uh, is not true, they have options. They can go to court, they can sue us. But I can tell you since we've been doing this, uh, we've not been dragged to court. If you drag us to court, I don't think you are going to win us. The law will prevail. We have facts and figures. They are allegations. Though, okay, until proven otherwise by the a court of competent jurisdiction. But our duty is to expose this thing. Let the anti-corruption agencies take it. We don't have power to prosecute. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.